We gotta go before they get mad. They're gonna get mad. They're chasing us. Ha! We stole. Oh, they're coming back. They're coming back. We stole their egg, though. Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to a brand new Pokemon game. This is a new fan game that I'm playing called Pokemon Wilds, and this has to be one of the greatest fan games that I've played this year. Basically, this is an open world, procedurally, gener procedurally generated Pokemon survival game. This is literally as cool as it gets. But today, we are going to be making a good old new file. Let's see if we can name our file. I'll name it YouTube, so I know I'm using it for this YouTube. And for our world, we can pick a small, medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large. Let's go for the biggest world they got. And we can name ourselves. I'll just name my real life name, Cole. And looks like we can pick our character here. But let's see what we want to do. We have so many selections in different characters that we can pick here. Who do I want to be? I'll probably just pick something normal. Um, I really like maybe this dude. This is the dude from black and white. Nah, we'll take this guy. All right, let's change this color to something cool. Um, let's go green, because we're gonna be like a survival. We need to camouflage in. So there we go. Let's jump on into the game now, my dudes. All right, so it is currently generating the world, um, and we picked the biggest size possible. So we're about to we're about to see some big stuff, boys. And this game has day and night time, and you're about to see like what this is all about in this video. This is this has got to be like the Pokemon fan game. But let's jump on in here and see what is up. Okay, finally. The world has now... Uh, okay, we do have a Pokemon. And they can do different stuff depending on your Pokemon. You're about to find out everything you can do in this game. There's literally so much you can do. Alright, let's check out by starting what this item is. A Pokeball. Awesome. So we can technically catch our first Pokemon. Um, and there's these little signs that's hidden around the game here. Trainer tips. Stand still while holding X to stop using a field move. Oh, I had no idea you could do that. Okay, so actually put your Pokemon. Can you hold X to bring it back out? Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, so we have a Cyndaquil here. There is a Venusaur right there on the screen, my dudes. Y'all see that, don't you? All right, this is actually extremely cool. Um, I wonder if there's a... It's kind of big, man, because I picked the biggest world. Oh, you can run. You can run in this game. All right, so there's so much to explore. First things first, though, we need to get started on a secret base before nighttime comes here. Let's see if this sign says anything good. Use cut on trees and tall grass to get building materials. Okay. All right. So let's see if we can figure out a Pokemon that knows cut. Um, I don't think just any Pokemon can learn cut either. I think we have to find like a certain one. All right. So what we might have to do, though, is capture this Cyndaquil first. But sometimes Pokemon just join your party. Add Cyndaquil to your party? Yes. We will definitely add Cyndaquil to our party here. Let's check him out now. Uh, all right, we'll make him follow. All right, but there's one thing I want to check is, does this Pokemon able to do anything? No, he doesn't have any actual outside moves. Uh, but yeah, we got a Cyndaquil. Nice. All right, I guess we should just start exploring the island. Potentially, we could find a good Pokemon. There's a Parasect there, and that Pokemon potentially knows Cut. How many Pokeballs do we have? Did we start with Pokeballs in this game? We got one. We got one Pokeballs, but I'm pretty sure you can make them with Apricot. All right, so I'm literally just exploring now. Oh, there's some berries over here. Let's go check these things out. Oh, got a prism berry. Okay. Okay. The tree became agitated and attacked. This tree just attacked us. Okay. So nothing's safe. Oh, God. We're about to get wiped, my dudes. We are about to get wiped. Oh, even the trainer has their own little sprites and stuff. Someone took a lot of time to make this game. Oh, we're level four. We got to get away. Oh, thank God. I was like, no, there's no way we're not getting away from that. Oh, the pseudo widow is still there. Dude, this game is literally the goat. This is the goat game, my dudes. All right, so I do know that the Pokemon that spawn in the grass are equal to the level that your your party is, I think. Yeah, so there we go. So it would, wouldn't be too hard to just level up some Pokemons here in the grass, um, which would make it easier for us to catch other Pokemon in the future. So I might, but well, we also need a way to heal Pokemon. And to do that, we need some items. Um, so we need a Pokemon that can learn Cut ASAP. It doesn't actually have to know the move Cut either. Some Pokemon have the ability to just cut outside of battle. Uh, which is really what we need. Bro, Cyndaquil is getting smoked by this cutie fly right now. But we should knock it out here and potentially level up to level 5, right? If we can get Ember on Cyndaquil, that'd be a lot better because then we can just, like, knock out some Pokemon. Super easy. 170 XP. It's all quite a bit of experience, actually. Alright, got us to level 6. Learn Smokescreen. That doesn't help us. 
Oh, also level seven. We're just leveled up like crazy over here. Okay, Cyndaquil so got some pretty good levels from that. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty hyped with that. We still got one Pokeball though. If we could just find a Pokemon that can join us and help. The Lapras over there. There's so many Pokemon here. They're just out here in the in the wild, dude. Some Pokemon will just join you if you talk to them. So maybe if the star you can join us. Maybe we can surf on it. Okay, we'll add Staryu to our team. Um, Staryu... Staryu definitely can't help us, but it's level 10 though, so that's pretty cool. If we can find a Water Stone, then that'd be lit, but... Finding a Water Stone can be pretty tough. Alright, I'm gonna head back north and see if I can find any better Pokemon that could help us on our journey. Oh my god, so if you notice in the battle, the screen got a little bit darker. That means that it's actually getting darker in real life in the game right now. I just gotta pray this thing doesn't have... Oh, I gotta crit there. I gotta pray it doesn't have water... Yeah, okay, we're dead. All right, it had water gun. Of course it did. All right, Machop. Maybe you'll get some experience here, my dude. Maybe you'll get some too. So the game starts you out with this fighting type Pokemon because fighting type Pokemon have the ability to build stuff. So that's that's why that's here. For. All right, there we go. Meryl's finally dead. The Meryl almost wiped our whole team. 310 XP though. We're about to get a lot of levels of this Machop. All right, as you can see, it is currently nighttime. The music is even more sinister now. Um, okay, it's becoming day again. All right, that was quick. Right, time is fat, bro. This is this game is lit. This is such a cool game. If I could just find a Pokemon that could learn cut, this would be awesome. So I'm pretty sure every world is randomly generated, so you're not gonna find any two of the same thing here. Oh my god. If you see it right now, you see it. But look at this. Alolan Executor. What? I wonder if there's shiny Pokemon in this game. I wonder. Alright. Oh, we need to find some way to Totodile. There's a Totodile. I wonder if Totodile can help us out. We'll catch that thing really quick and see. Totodile probably can't help us, but it's worth trying to catch it, right? All right, our defense has been lowered, and he's pretty low health, but we have one Pokeball. Let's just hope and pray that this Pokeball actually can ca uh, Okay, we, we just lost it. So we're out of Pokeballs now, so the only way we're getting Pokemon on our team is if they just join. Okay, so specifically Grass Pokemon can uh, teach us Cut. Let's talk to this Pokemon. Okay, they definitely... Reloops is aggressive. It may attack if provoked. Let's run away from that Pokemon. Yeah, we don't want to make that Pokemon aggressive, but we don't have any Pokeballs anymore. So we really have no way to catch a Pokemon at all. We just gotta hope that we can add one to our team somehow. Okay, I'm traveling up the river. Maybe we can find something this way. I don't know what that red... Is that a Magikarp? Magikarp, come closer. Maybe I can add you to my team. That'd be sick. Oh, maybe I can actually add him to my team. Seems friendly. Add Magikarp to your party? Yes. If we could surf on a Gyarados, my dudes, that would be lit. What level is this Pokemon? Level 10. We could eventually get this Magikarp up there, but who knows. <clears throat> Dude, Paras is what we need. We have no Pokeballs, though. So I don't know what to do. Oh, we have a, we have a sleeping bag. We can actually sleep and heal up our Pokemon with that, I'm pretty sure. So next nighttime, we will heal up our Pokemon. Maybe we can actually sleep in the daytime, too. Maybe I'll try that. Alright, let's test out this sleeping bag to see what we can do with it. Okay, so we can actually just sleep here. We can sleep like right in the middle of the forest, so that's good. And slowly this heals our Pokemon. I'm pretty sure if we can build a house and we sleep in the house, it heals our Pokemon even faster. Yeah, you can see right now that it's actually increasing the health of our Pokemon as we lay here. It's almost nighttime. If we're not careful, I'm pretty sure ghost Pokemon will attack you while you're sleeping. All right, so let's just get out now, and our Pokemon should be pretty healed up. Cyndaquil is still kind of low, but that's okay. Oh, are all these person berries? Is there like no like regular other berries? What do these berries even do? Can we heal with these? Okay, so it literally just cures confusion. We need to find different kind of berries. For real though, this game is super, super duper. Oh, there's an egg. These Pokemon are protecting this egg probably. We could probably steal that. Um, but look at this reflection and stuff. This game is absolutely gorgeous, my dudes. Look at this. This It doesn't get any better. All right, let's uh, see if we can add some Pokemon to our team. Let's see if we can add this Krabby. It has claws, so potentially it could cut stuff down. Let's see what it does here. Add Krabby to your party? Yes. All right, now can this Pokemon cut stuff? Let's check it out. Okay, it can. All right, so um, let's try to cut some stuff, I guess. All right. So whenever you're cutting stuff, you then play as the Pokemon. And if you're standing in front of grass, you can cut the grass. And you can see at the top of the screen here, we got some grass, which we can use to make some stuff here. And I ran into a wild Pokemon. No. All right. Let's just get some materials here. We got quite a bit of stuff to do. Oh, we got Apricorns too. That's perfect. We can use it to make some Pokeballs later on. So we'll keep doing that. I'll just shut down all these trees and then I'll come back to you guys in a few seconds. There's something satisfying though of just like taking these trees down and just getting the materials 
This is a well thought out Pokemon. Well made as well. This is a really good Pokemon fan game. Okay, I'm also gonna get some grass here. The grass is essential for probably making rope or something. I don't know. Wait, do they just... There's more eggs now. Do they just have more eggs? Those slow pokes... Wait, is that one hatching? That one just shook. Those eggs, man. Those eggs are weird. All right, can we chop down these trees too? Oh, we can definitely chop down these like these other trees as well. Now we need to know where we want to build our house at. Because I don't just want to build it back there. I might have to build it back there, though. I don't know. Oh, there's a bunch of Psyduck eggs over here as well. Dude, there's just so much stuff to look at right now that I can't keep my mind on like what I want to do. So let's hold X really quick. There we go. There was a Wooper. That's Wooper right there. Okay. I think Wooper can actually help us do some stuff too if it'll join our team. Wooper seems friendly. Add Wooper to your team. Yes. Party is full. You will need to drop some Pokemon. All right. Let's see who we want to get rid of. Oh, our party's full now. Okay. Let's see if Wooper can do anything different than other uh, Pokemon. Oh, Wooper can dig. Okay, so we can actually dig with Wooper. I've seen some spots on the ground, and I was wondering if that's how we dig. And boom. There we go. We got... We've actually found an item. An Ultra Ball. Okay. Okay. There we go. We got Pokeballs now. We can catch some Pokemon. We can catch some bad Pokemons. Wait, can we harvest this rock as well? Okay, rocks are not harvestable. But we can harvest the stuff. Let's get rid of this here. The island is gone now. We got some sand. I can't believe these slow pokes are just leaving their egg over there. All right. So we have a Pokemon that can dig. We have a Pokemon that can cut. Now we just got to figure out where we want to build our house at. That's the real thing. Hey, over here looks like a nice little area. I'm going to build a little bridge. Need more sand, I guess. All right, we've made it over here. Potentially, this is where we're going to build our house. So I guess let's get started. Where do I want to build it at, though? Oh, no, we're going to talk about ghost. Okay. Um, we have an Ultra Ball, so potentially we could capture this ghost. Or maybe you don't capture the ghost. A wild ghost appeared. Level 21 ghosts. Okay. What do we do to this ghost? Um, I don't know what to do, man. Let's go for the water gun, I guess. He cursed us. That's actually okay, actually, because then it cuts his HP down. Alright, we'll knock this ghost out easy. I'll have to sacrifice Wooper, though. That's one thing we're going to have to do. Because we might get a lot of experience with this. This is a little 21 Pokemon. I'm going to see if I can throw an Ultra Ball at it too. If I can do that, that'd be, that'd be, that would be the best thing. Alright, one more Water Gun. As long as we don't um, die here. Yeah, we're probably going to die right here. Okay. Let's see what we can do next. We'll just send in Staryu here. I'm going to see if I can throw an Ultra Ball really quick. And see if we can catch whatever Pokemon this is. That'd be cool to have a Ghost. Okay, it doesn't even give me the option to have the Ultra Ball. Oh, there it is there. Okay, Ghost can't be caught. Okay, let's just hope that we can knock this thing out. He used hypnosis. Okay, this is gonna be rough. This is going to be rough. Bro, Star has been asleep for like five turns now. Come on. There we go. Star you. I actually hope Star you dies, because I want a different Pokemon to get the experience from this. So we're gonna try to let Star you get killed here. Yeah, I should die to that. But let's see if we can get this experience on Syndic Will. That's the plan. Or potentially Krabby. Let's see if we can what does Krabby know? Well, we'll figure it out. Alright, Krabby, hopefully you have a move that can hit this. Some kind of move. Bubble. Okay, bubble is good. Hopefully this is enough. Oh, it killed itself. Alright, that was free experience for Krabby there. Krabby gained almost 3,000 experience from that. Dude, this Krabby better get to like level 20 or something. I don't even know. I don't even know. Now, I think once your Pokemon evolves and it's a cut Pokemon, it can actually end up cutting like bigger trees and bigger items. Um, and that's what you want to do. You want your Pokemon to evolve so you can potentially get bigger items and get bigger... Uh, like more rewards and stuff, you know what I'm saying? All right, but it is currently daytime. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this water. I don't like this water here. So we're just gonna take this and fill it. Hey, can we like take this um, and then like fill it up and make, I wanna make grass, but the, I guess you can't. Okay, so we can actually change it. Yeah, I figured out how to change it. I don't want so much, uh, I don't know what I did that for, but I don't want so much of whatever. All right, let's try to start building stuff now by bringing out our Machop. All right. Let's do some building. I'm not really, I'm not really sure on how. Press C and V to select tiles. Okay. Okay. We got a C and V. We got a roof. We got a wall. All right. So it looks like we want to make a house first. Probably one of the best things we can do at the beginning here. So let's just go ahead and build ourselves a house. Do we have enough stuff to make that? Right. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're making a little building here. Whoops. I need to get rid of that. I think I gotta use a cut. Not entirely sure. Actually, looks like it's making a two-story building by doing that. So that could be good. All right. Let's just add on to that, I guess. We're making a huge house for ourselves. Our little lonely island here. Alright, uh, let's go back to the roof. I guess we can make some roof here. I'm not sure exactly how many, um, like, uh, like logs and stuff we've got to do this. So, 
We'll just keep making this. All right, we're out of grass. We need to get some more grass really quick. Good thing there's like so much grass literally right in front of our house here. All right, it is getting nighttime again. We definitely need to start building stuff. So I think, what is it? Okay, there it is, there it is. We build these right here and then, okay, can I not build it there? Oh my God. I was like, we need to build some lights or something to get rid of this ghost. But apparently we can't do that. All right, um, let's see if we can defeat another ghost. If we can do that, then potentially. We can uh, get some experience on our Pokemons. Machop, this is not the fight for you, my dude, for sure. Can we run away? All right, we got away from the ghost. I was like, there's no way we're beating that ghost, for sure. Wait, can it, can it chase us? It can literally chase us around. We got to get away from it. We got to build some kind of lights or something. If we can build lights, then we can escape. Yeah, we got away. Let's go try to run away. Run away, run away, run away. He's stunned for a little bit. Come on. Come on. He tried so hard to get to us. The, the Bantai got in the way, no. Oh, we gotta survive until daytime, which I think it's daytime now. If we can run away from this Pokemon, then we should be good. They'll run away in the daytime. They can't. We can't. Chase us in the daytime. Oh, thank God. Thank God. All right, so we have some torches here. We put these up around our house. I cannot place this door. First things first, I guess I'm gonna place this door. I can't even place this door. I think it's about to be a little glitch right now. Let's see if I can switch over. All right, let's try to build some stuff. Um, all right, let's build a door in the middle here. Why can't, am I out of logs? Might need to get some more logs. That might be the problem. All right, we got some logs. Let's see if we can do anything now. If we can hopefully build this door. I don't know what's up. Why can't I build this door? Can I build anything else? Let's just see if we can build this. Yeah, I can build this roof, but I couldn't build the door earlier. Whoa. What happened there? I think I pushed C. Okay, so there's like different stuff you can build. Dang it. Why is this, why is it different? Oh, because it's in a different habitat thing. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of that now. I don't so if it's in a different biome, it builds a different looking house. There's that. I think we can just cut these down. Why can I not build this door? Okay, I think I figured out why I can't build the door. I think I got to build it. I got to get rid of the wall, then build the door. It's so dumb. Oops, I actually accidentally went inside the house. All right, I built a fire here. So potentially that could keep away ghost Pokemon. I don't know why I couldn't build the, the torch or whatever. All right, there we go. I think this is going to be the finished thing of the house here. So, um, let me just hold X really quick. There we go. And, oh, I ran into the stupid grass. I ran into the grass. No. All right, we have a pincer. And, dude, this thing it looks pretty tough. All right, it's level eight. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, yes. All right, so this will protect us from ghosts now. Light, the ghosts cannot go into the light. That is what I've been told. All right, but looks like we can actually make some Pokeballs now. That's actually pretty good. Ooh, soft bedding. We need soft feathers, silky thread. We can make repels, rare candies, we can make so much stuff. Dude, if we get this, we can make a self scope and actually see what those ghosts are. What is a binding band? I don't know what that does. I guess it like heals, uh, it's probably like a healing thing. Thin paper, old rod. Yeah, looks like we can make a lot of stuff. Let's see if we can make some Pokeballs though and see if we can get some Pokemon going up in here. If we can make as many fastballs as we can, that's probably gonna be like the best and like highest level uh, ball we can make. But I guess we should just make all of the balls we can with all the Apricorns we've collected over the time. So there's like literally no point in not making them, right? All right, we got a lot of Pokeballs now. We should be able to catch at least some. But let's go inside and check out our house for the first time. This is a pretty decent house, to be honest. Let's see if we can build ourselves some furniture up in here to make it a little bit more home. Oh, we need some seeds. Uh, we can build a torch. We can build a sign. We can build a window, which we don't have clear glass. It tells you like the material you need. We gotta figure out how to get all this material because I have no idea how to do any of this. We got a trash can. That, that's a little bit of furniture we can build. Boom. What else can we build? We can build a wall. How would we build a wall for? <laughs> we can almost build a clock. We can build stairs to go upstairs. What happens if we build stairs? Let's do that. Can we go upstairs? Oh. Okay. Does it matter where we build the stairs? Okay. So that's what that does. I need to get rid of the other stairs then. Okay, so we can actually build a lot of different stuff here. Let's see if we can get rid of these stairs with our uh, Krabby. I think Krabby is the one we gotta use. I wish it was like a hotkey for the cut Pokemon and the build Pokemon. That'd be awesome. Alright, so we got a little storage thing too. We could put some storage around here. We have little rugs we can put down as well. I'm about to make the upstairs area look completely different with like a little rug area. This is like my bedroom. This is where I'm gonna have my bed once I get that done. Alright, this is our second floor now. It looks awesome up here. And we got a table. We could put some tables right there, I guess. A bed. We need a soft bed to make that. I'm not sure what to do to get a soft bed though. Alright, we got a chair now. A mirror would be cool. Okay, our house is slowly coming together here. Alright, this is our new home we got going on here. We can store stuff in here. Um, the trash can doesn't actually do anything. 
Does this stuff actually do anything? Can we interact with this stuff? Arrow left or right to change clothes or color. Oh, we can change clothes and color now with that. All right, let's go this blue. I like that for now. Nice. All right, so we also have our upstairs area here, which we built. This is a pretty lit looking house already. This is pretty amazing. All right, um, I guess let's get some more stuff with Wooper. Wooper is gonna be our, wait, Wooper's dead. All right, so actually let's go inside and sleep on our little thing. We're actually going to our, our second floor room and show off how we can sleep now. All righty, there we go. We are asleep in our house for the first time and I think this should make our Pokemon heal way faster than it did when we were outside. Yeah, for sure. So, there we go. Our strongest Pokemon currently is Krabby. Um, Wooper, instead of evolving Wooper, let's see if we can just go catch a uh, Quagsire. That might be the, like the key to just seeing if you can catch more Pokemon faster and faster. So, I'll go see if we can find a Quagsire right now. Alright, Pokemon are fully healed up. Let's head out on an adventure. We have a Mantine here as well. I'm sure Mantine can learn Surf, but we're looking for a Quagsire. There should be one near the beach if we can find Oh, it's getting dark again. I can't stand the dark, my dude. But I guess since it's dark, um, what we should be doing is probably just um, getting materials. I think that's going to be the, the thing to do. And just cut our grass and hopefully Ghost Pokemon don't come out. We can survive another night here. Who wants to see 100 nights in Pokemon Wilds? That'd be, that'd be great. All right, we survived the night. Let's continue our quest of looking for that quest. I wonder if we can cut down berry trees. I didn't even try. Yeah, we got grass. Do we get any? Oh, we got berry seeds. Okay. Okay. That's what we want. We want berry seeds. We could probably make a berry farm. And I wonder if it's going to plant these exact berries. We'll have to check that out. Where did I find this whooper at? That's the real question. Little fan feed. Pokemon, I like these old sprites. So that's like another plus for me is just having the old... The old art style. If we had a Pokemon that can surf, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty sure up here... Oh, yeah, dude, they've laid so many eggs now. And there's some stuff up here. Let's switch over to Wooper really quick and see if we can get anything good from these dig spots. Because there's usually, like, some actual rare items in these, so... We'll just continue to do whatever we gotta do. Found a big pearl. I'm not sure if that's used for anything important. But we found a big pearl. Hey, okay, there's a Quagsire right there. Okay. There's a lot, a lot of Pokemons. There's a Squirtle out there. We could probably get that on our team, but we don't really need a Squirtle right now. All right, Quagsire, we're going to not do that, I guess. All right, all right, Quagsire. Seems aggressive, and it may attack if provoked. All right, we're trying to provoke you, Quagsire. That is the plan, provoking this Pokemon. All right, angry Quagsire. We need... His attack went way up, dadgummit. Okay, so the plan is to capture this bad boy. Okay. Um, what Pokeballs do we have? We have one Ultra Ball, a Fast Ball, a Lure Ball, and a Heavy Ball. Heavy balls could be pretty good. I say we throw our Ultra Ball right here, right now, and hope that we get lucky. Come on. Wiggle once, wiggle twice, wiggle... Oh my god, dude, I thought we was going to get it right there. All right, so that was good. Um, bro, it's setting it bulk up, isn't it? Okay, special defense, so it doesn't really matter. All right, we're, gonna, we're just going to throw some heavy balls. We have 14 of those, and potentially one of those could capture this Quagsire. I don't know how heavy Quagsire is. Come on, heavy ball, wiggle for me. Wiggle once, wiggle twice. Wiggle, oh, dude, it wiggled thrice again. That's how you know. Bro, it just destroyed my Machop there. We need to get its health down, but we really can't, you know? We just gotta hope that one of these balls can capture it. That's that's all I can say. Maybe a lure ball, but we're not actually fishing right now, so I don't know if that would work. Bro, we're about to get swept hard. Uh, Come on, heavy ball, please. Please work. It would probably help if he wasn't at... Uh, like full health level 24 way higher level than all of our pokemon but we're gonna we're gonna catch it right here this is the one come on this is the one bro three wiggles it's so close and this is it oh my dude we're getting we're getting so close every time now i think we can catch it i think we can it's getting night time now so if we gotta catch this asap bro just stay in the ball quag sorry we need your help i might be able to weaken it with uh crabby if we don't catch it here keeps using tail whip on star you like it's like, it couldn't already one-shot this Pokemon. Alright, if it uh, we don't catch it here, then we're going to switch over... Oh! We caught it! We just caught Quagsire! Quag we just caught Quagsire! Alright, so I'm about to get rid of Staryu for this one. Um, Staryu is no good. Staryu was no good. Hey, you also get experience in your team for catching Pokemon, I guess. Uh, our po our I want to keep that Magikarp. Magikarp's OP. So we're going to keep... Actually, we need to get rid of Wooper. That's what we need to get rid of, right? Because we already have a Quagsire now. Wait, where did the Quagsire go? I didn't see what it said. Where did Quagsire go? Okay, we're going to have to get rid of um, 
star you drop. All right, I don't know how to get to my other Pokemon. All right, it is daytime now. Oh, the Todd goes up whenever it becomes daytime and not time. Okay, that's cool to know. Okay, I think we wasted our journey. Let's head back home now. Because we caught the Quagsire, but I didn't see what it said. But before I go, I think I might try to steal one of these eggs. Hmm, a Pokemon egg. Pick it up? Yes. We gotta go before they get mad. They're gonna get mad. They're chasing us. Ha! We stole- Oh, they're coming back. They're coming back. We stole their egg, though. We stole their egg, yeah. Alright, hopefully we're able to find another Quagsire around here sometime. Because that, that sucked. We just lost our Quagsire for no reason. Alright, uh, I guess let's- Well, actually, we need to- There's a Quagsire down there as well. Uh, that's actually a whooper. But we need to sleep, for sure. Pokemon are mostly dead. So before we continue our adventure, let's- Alright, Pokemon are healed up. Let's see if we can find anything down south here. Could be some good stuff over here. Alright, another trainer tip thing. Anything new over here? You can build a tour between two roof tiles to build a back door to your house. Alright, that's pretty cool, I guess. Let's Pokemon are play in there. That's pretty cool. Hooper, we need your evolution. Oh, there's like a whole other biome over here. What? This is like some kind of crazy savanna biome. Alright. Um. Oh, wait. Is our egg hatching? Our egg is hatching! No, yeah! Our first egg hatch. We stole this egg. And it's a slowpoke! Yeah! Alright, slowpoke. I actually don't love you. Uh, I just stole you because I thought it'd be cool to do that. Alright, so... Looks like there are some different berries here. What kind of berries are these? Cherry berries. Alright, that's pretty cool. There's a Shanx over there, dude. That's a wild... And there's a wild Ariados. I wonder if that could help us with anything. To get the silk and stuff. If we could use that to get silk, potentially. That could be good. We need our cut Pokemon to help us. Big trees. Crabby must be fully evolved to cut large trees. Alrighty, um... Let's see what we can do with this Eridos. Eridos seems aggressive. It may attack if provoked. All right, let's cap. Let's try to capture this Eridos. Um, just because. Oh, dang it! Why would I try to capture this Eridos when I don't have enough Pokemon? Angry Eridos attack. Level 52. What? Level 52. All right, I'm gonna try something really quick. We have these fast balls. So these things are effective on really fast Pokemon. So this Pokemon is significantly faster than ours. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We're dead. We're dead. Oh, but now it's even faster with the scary face lowered our speed. So does that affect our capture rate on the ball here? We go once. Dude, if we could catch this level 52 Eridos, that would boost us up extremely high. I probably should not have attacked this for sure. I need to run away. All right, time to run away. All right, we gotta run away. We gotta run, 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 run. Okay, we ran into another wild Pokemon. Just meter in. Okay, we gotta keep running. It's chasing us, it's chasing us for a long time. It's slowly catching, it's slowly losing. Alright. Alright, we survived the Eridos encounter. Whooper, we need to dig, dude. We need you to find some good stuff. Over. A water stone? Wait, do we still have Staryu? We don't have Staryu anymore. Alright, we could evolve Staryu if we wanted to. Alright, let's keep following the water. Potentially, we could still find our Quagsar, maybe. There's a core fish over there. Okay, this is the edge of the island, looks like. Oh, we got some hard stone. We can, I didn't know we could mine the wall here. This is how we get some stuff, boys. This is how we get stuff done. Can't mine these rocks, though. This Dawn fan probably could. That's a problem, though. I want to get Quagsire, because I think he can surf, and he can, uh... But if we could just evolve this, this, uh, whooper, then that'd be just as good, right? And there's, like, a whole forest here. I don't know what to do. I'm conflicted on what I need to do. All right, first, let's see if we can make berries or whatever it is. All right. We can make sand. We can make lake, ledge, grass, sand, lake, ledge. All right, let's see here. How do we... How do we plant the berries? Where are those even at? Berry seed. Can we plant it to grow berries? Press Z to plant seeds. Okay, so we can actually make a berry farm here. All right, let's make a berry farm really quick. All right, there's one seed. We have a lot of seeds. We'll just make a huge farm here. We're slowly making a little village farm thing. All right, there we go. That's all of our seeds. I'm not sure how long that takes to do that, so we'll find out eventually. I think we can build a fence too, which would be pretty cool. Hey, can we build torches finally? I want to build a torch. Why can't I build a torch, man? Oh, okay, so they go on the wall. All right, there we go. We got torches on our wall now. All right, we can actually build our own sign. We'll put a sign there and we'll name that after our house. And we have can we build a graveyard? Do we can build our own graveyard? Let's try, let's build our own graveyard. All right. Here lies our Pokemon that died. They all died right there. That's where the graves will be. Okay, we need to find a miracle seat. Oh, we can also build these things too. These are like super decorative items. 
All right, let's build these beside our house. So they know that we mean business around here. This is like a Pokemon gym, basically. <laughs> okay, we can build a fence. Perfect. I left one patch of grass and we encountered a Pokemon in that little patch. Oh no, we're gonna attack by ghosts. We're gonna attack by ghosts. They run away. Run, 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 run. Okay, oh, you see that? He got destroyed by the light. That's perfect. We can destroy them with light. All right, we're building our farm. And this is the fence. We gotta keep wild Pokemon out of this farm. Actually, we could do this and build like a little Pokemon enclosure. I think that's gonna be the new plan. Let's see if we can switch over to Krabby. That way we can keep Pokemon we wanna keep and we can just leave them where we wanna leave them. Another day survived with no ghost attacks. Now it'd be really cool if they added NPCs. If whenever you started making stuff, NPCs started showing up and I just noticed that my berries grew. I did not even pay attention to that. We now have a lot of berries. All right. Let's finish making our little fenced-in area for our party. Alrighty, we got our little fence area built. Put some torches around just so we can keep it kind of well lit in the nighttime. Alrighty, those Pokemon are playing a lot. Alright, let's see if we can build a little Pokemon area in here. Um, we're going to use Wooper to make, um, basically, I guess, uh, can we make water? Make a little pond here for our water Pokemons. Okay. okay, so lake is the different type of grass. How do we get water? Alright, let's see if we can release our Magikarp into this little water here. Alright, there we go. Our Magikarp should stay here with us now. I think it should I think it'll just stay in the little pond. But we can take it whenever we want. And also, let's see here. Slowpoke, you can stay here. Alright, we do have all of these torches surrounding us now. Which is nice. Alright. What else can we make anything new now? Oh, we can actually make clear glass now. What? We can make so much clear glass. Let's actually make that. I think we can use it to make windows and stuff. All right, we can actually make windows in our house. Boom. We have windows now. That's pretty cool. Can we go inside and make some windows? There we go. We got a window. Can we make a window upstairs? Wait, Quagsire's here. Quagsire's in our house. Are you serious? They go to your house, Quagsire. Looks like it's holding something. A hard shell. Thank you very much, Quagsire. All righty. My dude, Quagsire is enjoying itself. Add Quagsire to your party? Yes, please. There we go. We have Quagsire. The, the quest didn't end. We completed it. We did our we did our duties. All right, can we mine? Can Quagsire, what can Quagsire do? Oh, we have a map. I did not even realize that. There's a whole map of everything we've seen so far. Oh, dude, this is cool. This game just keeps getting better. You guys have to try it out if you haven't already. All right, so surf and dig. Okay. Okay, let's see if you can do any more whenever you are a Quagsire. Probably definitely a, like a whole lot stronger now. Can you get these rocks? Can anybody get those rocks? Alright, so yeah, Quagsire definitely can't, uh, we're just gonna take all this. Give us all the hard stone, give us everything from this. We got some sand, we got everything we need, my dude. Oops, I did not mean to surf. We can, oh, we're riding on our Pokemon, dude. We can ride this thing. All right, we gotta go somewhere cool now. Let's just uh, let's just ride him for a little bit. We are going to ride out our Pokemon, dude. This is the pinnacle of the game right now. We have we have no limits. We could literally explore anywhere we want to explore. We could, dude. They have so many eggs now. They're still angry. They're still angry, but we have so many eggs now, and we can just surf. And we can just explore the whole world, my dudes. This game is amazing. But yeah, I think. This is where we're going to end the video, guys. Hopefully, y'all did enjoy this one. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. God bless you all for watching. This is an amazing Pokemon game. If you want to download it for yourself, there is a link in the description down below. So go ahead, click it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.